Today I am joined by cast members from Puzzle Theory, one act that we did in 2017. You know, the premise of the of the show is Tim's character of Jake is, you know, on vacation with some of his friends and he's he's there doing his jigsaw puzzles and we see three different characters come in initially um, who um, who ask him for uh, advice and uh, interrupt him while he's you know trying to get this jigsaw puzzle done and um, I think uh, Damien you were the one who you know in the original script the advice Tim's character was giving was intentionally helpful and I remember you saying to me at some point it might actually be funnier if he doesn't even realize that what he's saying is helpful and and his friends are the ones who figure it out. Do, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Um, in On the actual trip, I wasn't so much giving people advice. It's not, not that they were coming me for advice, but when they come and sit down and just start talking and it's like two in the morning and you're drinking a little bit, <laughs> stuff just starts coming out. You know, you just start talking about what's bothering you and whatnot, and then you just kind of hash it out. So that's really what it was. And in the script, he definitely had, the character of Jake had all the answers to life's questions. And while that was interesting, I thought it would have been funnier if like, what if he's just saying stuff to get people away from him so he can get back to his puzzle, you know? And then the people actually put it together themselves. Last night, just to kind of refresh my memory, I, I re-watched Puzzle Theory. And I don't know that I ever remember this from rehearsals or anything else, but Pat, when you come out and you've got your beer bottle, I'm pretty sure at some point you're singing a Sheryl Crow song. <laughs> yeah, that was, that, that, was, that was the last show because I knew it was going to be the last show that I was going to use that prop. So it's one of the opening lines from All I Want to Do. I'm peeling the label from yes. the bottle and I'm singing, Billy likes to peel the labels from his bottles of blood. <laughs> and it worked perfectly. <laughs> Absolutely. And that was the only time I ever did that. Billy likes to peel the labels from his bottles of blood. <laughs> <laughs> See, and that's the other thing is, you know, I'm remembering certain things that we did in shows. And when I go back to watch some of these videos, I'm looking for that. And it happened, ends up happening that it's the night that we taped it that you know, <laughs> missed a line or, yeah, you know, well, that we, we, we did something different that night. And I'm like, ah, oh, I wish we had that on tape. But, you know, whatever. That, that, that's, that's the beauty of live, live theater. So. Yeah, yep. I mean, you're, you're talking about placeholder jokes. This, this is the this is the show. This is the short um, where there was a placeholder where Damien read a whole poem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, check this out. Um, what if I uh, start with something like? Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Um, her name is Katie. She is a foxy lady. Huh? Alright. She drives me crazy like like, like a female Patrick Swayze. <laughs> huh? <laughs> ah, ah. Um, uh, she does not drive a Mercedes. But was born midway through the eighties. Oh, um, uh, uh, I like her more than spaghetti, all covered in gravy. Uh, she likes the movie Fight Club. Oh, uh, which was directed by David Fincher, uh, who also <laughs> directed Seven. Featuring Kevin Spacey! Ooh, if we had sex, 
Nine months later, we'd have a baby! Maybe. Uh, I love you, Katie. <sighs> yeah, I mean, um, the piece originally was 14 minutes long. <laughs> Oh, and uh, we were rehearsing at the Hamilton Township Library, and uh, Damien just said, you know, wouldn't it be funny? Part of the beauty of this piece is, and I think it works wonderfully because, you know, we, we kind of have fun with Tim as it is. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, the, the characters who come to see him really are agitating him. And part of the fun of of the piece was finding those little things that people could do to irritate him. So, you know, I love the part where Damien sits down next to him and just starts touching him with his foot. It's yeah. the weirdest thing. I don't know why you thought to do that, Damien. But. It's, it's kind of a dream role to be able to agitate and annoy Tim. It's just... <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna sound like a bad actress. I feel like it was less about the character and more about like, I know Tim as a person and how can I annoy him? Um, <laughs> I have to say my absolute, like one of my favorite memories of those kind of moments is the first time it popped into my head of like taking my shoes off and having them like filled with sand and like making noise with them. And I just thought like, how irksome is that? You know, like not only is somebody like interrupting, not only are they kind of like, you know, there's always somebody that tracks a bunch of sand in from the beach. But second to that, like when somebody interrupts you, but they're also making their own noise. Cause then it goes from just like maybe an accidental interruption, you know, or a subconscious interruption to just rude. Um, and the first time I decided, I remember it, I was just standing in the wing and I, and I'm not really an improver. Like I'm really not, you guys probably know I, I, I don't jump on improv, but I was just sitting there and I'm like, I'm going to kick my freaking shoes off and I'm going to pretend they're full of sand and I'm going to bang them on the table. And I just was so desperate to like see what Tim's reaction would be. And I just remember his whole face changed <laughs> and his character's face just got so serious and like, <laughs> it was such one of my favorite moments. Did you, uh, did you help him? He's beyond help. I don't believe that. Anybody? 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 Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Please, do you mind? I'm still not listening. Thanks. And I'm going to bed the second I finish this. Well, it's the same old, same old. Who, Thomas? Uh, I'm asking questions. Yes, and it's Tomas. So, it's like this, right? He's always oh, trying to be so like, oh, I don't what? know, just like... Uh, funny? Oh, uh, no. Clever? No. Uh, so Polish? Like, romantic! I thought a lot of women like that shit. No, no, I know, but it's like this, right? It's like, he'll spend, he'll spend like a fortune on flowers. Flowers! Flowers! They're just gonna shrivel up and die anyway. And I'll be all like, um... What were you thinking? You know, you could use that money and buy me a nice meal at a good restaurant, and then he'll tell me, right, that he's just trying to do something nice for me, and I get it, right? And I do appreciate it, but it's like not everything has to be this big grand 
gesture, right? It's like, feed this girl and I'm a happy girl, you know? Do I have to be here for this conversation? You know what I said? He <laughs> said, let's go on a cruise. <laughs> and I'm like, um, no, how about we don't? Because we can let the toilet overflow and catch a nasty abdominal bacteria for free from the comfort <laughs> of our own home. <laughs> So you feel strongly about it. Am I wrong? Now, Emily, your yeah. character comes in at the tail end. Yeah, like uh, you three, are three minutes from the end, maybe. You are typecast as Tim's girlfriend in this piece, I believe, right? And um, Amanda comes out having been woken up by uh, Tim's hysteria over having his puzzle finished without <laughs> input. And we, we took particular care with you to make sure you had a certain look and your hair had kind of a bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> Was that the first piece with us where you actually had like a lot of dialogue or, or am I misremembering? Yes, because the first show I did was um, American Prez and I didn't, I only had that bagel scene with Patrick. Right, right, right. Um, well, the weren't you experience. like the crazy woman who got hauled off by security? That yes. was that one, yes. that was a couple lines. And then, yeah, I think this one was the first one when I had like five or five or so lines. And you were like a real character. Yeah, I was exactly. a, I had a real, I had a real name, real character. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I don't, I don't come until the end. I'm not just audience member. I'm not just bagel person. I have a character <laughs> right. name. And um, it's fun because I always in shows wear makeup and that was like one of the first times I had to be natural in the middle of the night with my hair messed up, not yeah. wearing makeup. So, um, and that's really pretty much how my hair kind of looks like in the morning anyways. So <laughs> those, kinda, those are the dream roles you fight for. Kind of natural. So um, yeah, it was pretty fun. <laughs>